Hi, I'm Matthew Koch. Tonight on the Casino Rama Grow Room Overtime, joined by Toronto Argonauts wide receiver, Obit Situt. Obit, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. And we're not going to be talking about sports. This is mm -hmm. a little bit different. I wanted to talk about what's going on right now in Haiti. I know you have friends and your family there, mm -hmm. and you're planning on traveling there. Mm -hmm. First, uh, how are you doing, and how is your friends and family? Well, I'm doing okay, but it's really hard. Um, tomorrow will be a week, ever since the earthquake happened. And um, my family had minor injuries. They're, they're fine. But a lot of friends didn't make it. They, they passed away. And um, the distant cousin, I haven't heard from a distant cousin yet. But overall, um, the media family is fine. And how did you first hear about it? Because you were telling me that you didn't really believe it when you first heard it because the earthquake hadn't happened in about 200 years? It's not common in Haiti. Earthquake in Haiti is not common. We're more um, familiar with hurricanes. And um, when I've heard about it, a friend from Montreal texted me and told me about it, but I didn't believe it mm -hmm. until I turned on TV, I watched and saw what happened. It was disheartening and extremely hard to watch. How long did it take before when you first heard about it till you got into contact um, with family? How long the gap was there? Well, um, the same day I tried to get a hold of my family who was down there, but um, it was extremely hard. All the lines are, are currently out. Mm -hmm. And um, they're from Saint-Marc, which is outside of uh, Port-au-Prince and um, where the earthquake happened. But a couple of, peop a couple of family members, they work in Port-au-Prince and Carrefour, they were fine and minor injuries, but once they got to Saint Mark, they were able to call and let us know that everything was fine. Yeah, and what and what about you? I hear you you were you were going to be going over there. You're uh, volunteering. What what is your next step in all well, this? I'm trying to get involved uh, with any NGOs that are um, being major contributors to help um, Haiti, and um, it's a slow process going over there. You have to have proper training, whatnot, and it takes some time. And um, I'm giving through money, clothes, um, by any means necessary, any way that I can help. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to do so, and I'm, I'm willing to go over there and help out as well. And again, if, if anyone does want to help out, again, you can go to redcross.ca. Mm -hmm. uh, you can call as well at 1-800-418-1111 uh, is, is one way that you can. Correct. Now, you have one of your teammates, uh, mm -hmm. Raymond Fontaine, line, mm -hmm. linebacker. How is he doing right now? Because I know he also has family. He's doing okay, but um, last time I talked with him, he was not able to get a hold of his family. But uh, we're supposed to get together sometime this week and see if we can promote some sort of fundraising mm -hmm. and um, help out Haiti. Well, you know what, anything that you do, please let us know if there's mm -hmm. anything we can do mm -hmm. in terms of websites or things like that. And mm -hmm. that's a great thing that you're doing to help mm -hmm. out. And I wish you and everyone all the best. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it.